December now and the holidays are coming up and the holidays are like my favorite time of year. I love Christmas and I just think it's just such like a, this sounds really cheesy, but it's like such a magical time of the year. I don't know. I really love it. And one of the best things of the holidays, I think we can all admit, is the food. Like, who doesn't love food? Like, seriously? So I already did one Thanksgiving cooking video, but I just could not wait to start my holiday Christmas themed cooking videos because I did a few last year and I just couldn't wait to do them again this year. So if you have any requests for certain holiday treats you would like to see, leave that below. I can also do like actual food like I did for the Mother's Day breakfast. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some pretzel kisses that have little M&Ms on them. They taste so amazing like literally it's so good and then also your own peppermint hot chocolate because I've always tried to make my own homemade hot chocolate like with the chocolate chips but something about it just doesn't taste good to me it's like too like rich and too chocolatey for me so I actually found a recipe that I love and it tastes so good it's like not too chocolatey but it's still like just chocolatey enough Plus it has peppermint in it and you guys know how I feel about peppermint. I'm like obsessed with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this cooking video. Now let's go ahead and head to the grocery store and get what we need. So we are late night grocery shopping. Actually it's not late at night. It's like 7 o'clock but ever since it started getting dark at 5 I feel like it's super late all the time. But let's go ahead and get what we need. So the first thing that we're going to need is some pretzels. Got him. Some cocoa powder powdered milk, and my favorite, candy canes. Some holiday colored M&Ms, some candy cane kisses, and whipped cream is an optional step, but I love whipped cream, so I'm gonna use it, and that's all we need, so let's go home. All right, so now that you have all the ingredients that you need, let's go ahead and start off with the pretzel M&M kisses. So the first thing that you want to do is just take a cookie sheet and then also take some parchment paper or you can also take just some little spray, cooking spray like I have here and just spray this all over the pan. And also you want to make sure that your oven is set to 170 while you're preparing this because we're going to be using the oven in a little bit. So what we're going to start off with doing is just take some pretzels. I'm using square pretzels because I like these a lot better than just the regular ones. But you can use any pretzels that you like. And you want to just go ahead and set these all over your cookie sheet. Alright, and after that, now you just want to take some Hershey Kisses. So you can take any kisses that are like your favorite kind. I'm going with just some holiday themed ones because of course this is a holiday little treat. So I just have like some candy cane ones, some original milk chocolate ones. And then you basically just want to set these right on top of the pretzels and just go ahead and do that to all of your pretzels on the cookie sheet. that and we've put our little kisses on all of the pretzels and the oven is now heated so I'm just going to go ahead and put these in the oven for five to six minutes. You definitely want to keep checking up on it and make sure that your chocolate isn't burning but I think five to six minutes is a pretty good time. So just go ahead and put this in the oven and then we can do the last step. Alright, and now we want to take our holiday colored M&M's and now that the chocolate is melted, we're just going to pop this right in the center of the kisses. And you want to work pretty fast considering this chocolate is going to dry fast. So just kind of stick it in. Remember they don't have to be perfect. the M&M's in all of the kisses and what we're going to do next is just go ahead and put this in the fridge to let the chocolate harden again. So now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the peppermint hot chocolate which is like my favorite part. So it's a great idea to like put these in the fridge while you're working on the hot chocolate. It kind of just works well together. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the fridge and let them harden. Alright so now you want to get out the ingredients for your peppermint hot chocolate. So here I have three cups of powdered milk a half a cup of cocoa powder and one third cup of sugar and then I just have a big bowl here to mix it all together. So first I'm just going to pour in the powdered milk and the cocoa powder and the sugar. It really doesn't matter what order you put it in, you just want to get it all in there. 
All right, and now I just have some unwrapped candy canes here, and we're actually going to crush these, so I'm just going to put them in my blender. Blenders always, like, really scare me. Like, I hate the noise, so I'm doing this for you guys. But basically, you just want to go ahead and put your candy canes in the blender, and then go ahead and crush it. And now we have our crushed candy canes. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put some of this right into the mixture as well because, of course, this is peppermint hot chocolate. So basically just put in as much as you like depending on how much you love peppermint and how strong you want it to be. And I love peppermint, so I want it to be pretty strong. All right, so before we go ahead and mix this all up, now you want to heat up your milk or water. I personally prefer my hot chocolate with milk because I think it's so much better, but it's really up to you. And I like to have one cup of milk or water with each serving. So if you're serving just yourself, then you just need to heat up one cup of milk or water. If it's two people, then you need two cups. You get the picture. So just go ahead and heat up your milk or water. So while that's heating up, now you just want to take a huge spoon and go ahead and mix all of your ingredients together. Make sure they're mixed pretty well so that all of the ingredients are evenly incorporated. All right, so now I have my cup of heated milk and my little cocoa mix. Obviously, we're not using all of this. This will actually serve a lot of people, which is great. So what you want to do is take one fourth cup of the cocoa mix and pour that straight into your milk. And then that should be enough of the mix. If you want it to be more rich, then you could just add more cocoa mix, but I'm just going to go ahead and Leave it at one fourth. Then of course you want to stir it all up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And you can also add a little bit more of the peppermint. All right, now I'm going to take my hot chocolate and pour it into a really cute Christmas mug. Pour it in there. And then I'm going to top it off with some whipped cream. a candy cane and a few little candy cane bits and this is your finished peppermint hot chocolate it is so yummy and so warm so now that we are finished with the peppermint hot chocolate I'm pretty sure that the little pretzel M&M kisses are done so we can take those out of the fridge all right so the chocolate is hardened and they look so good these are like amazing so I'm just gonna move these onto a really cute Christmas plate as a little serving decoration I don't know but they taste really good that's all I know all right now that is your finished peppermint hot cocoa and your pretzel M&M kisses now I'm going to show you guys a new little segment on how you can make these things gifts for the holidays so just a few little gift ideas if you want to kind of give these to your friends and family for the holidays so let's move on to that I want more of this all right, so first off, if you wanted to give some of these little pretzel M&M kisses, I need to find a shorter name for these. But if you wanted to give some of these to your friends and family for the holidays, I have a few little like gift ideas for you guys. The first one are these really cute like takeout boxes that I got from Walmart for like 97 cents each. So they're really inexpensive and they have cute little Christmas designs on them. And you can just fill it up with a few of the little treats and then close it. And then it's like a little Christmas takeout box. So you can just like give this to your friends and family. You can even put like a little bow or like a little, um, what are those things called? Like the gift cards that say like to and from. Yeah, you can put one of those. And I just think it's a really like fun, sweet surprise. You can also get something like these cute little buckets that I got at Walmart as well for 97 cents. And you can just put these like in your kitchen so that when people come over, they can just like eat some. Unless you don't want to share, then that's cool too. Okay, and a really fun idea if you want to give the peppermint hot chocolate as a gift for the holidays, you can just take some of these jars. I got these at Walmart also for like seven bucks and you get this whole pack of all of these little jars. And basically what I did is I just put all of the dry ingredients into one of the jars and tied it with a little bow and you can also attach a little note that just says like mix all the ingredients together and then mix it with one cup of hot water or milk and then just stir it and add whipped cream obviously you can't put the whipped cream in here because that would just not be very sanitary but I did put some little crushed peppermints on top and then I just put the lid on there and you basically can decorate these jars however you would like to I just think it's a super fun inexpensive gift to give to your friends and family for the holidays so if you guys try this out or anything out post a picture on my Facebook page I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video leave a comment below and let me know what you think and you can also leave like a video response of you making this that would be so cool oh my gosh if you like filmed a video of you like making this stuff that would be amazing I'd like watch all of them so I hope you guys like it let me know what you would like to see next and I'll talk to you guys later bye whipped cream stash for the win